Hi, what's up guys? I'm Shirkot and this is Jake Gadgets. So in the previous video, I showed you how to install Resurrection Remix 5.8.3 in this OnePlus One. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of this OS and share my experience with you. It has lots of options to customize this phone, so brace yourself and let's go. So first of all coming about launcher, this OS comes with Google Now Launcher and the inbuilt Pixel Launcher. Here is it, Google Now Launcher and the Pixel Launcher here. And I am using the Pixel Launcher. Now let's go to the notification panel and see what's in there. So let's go to edit and you can see there are lots of tools available to customize your notification panel that comes handy when using the mobile. So as you can see lots of so let's go back and now let's go to the settings and see what's in there and you can see that it is pretty similar with lineage 40.1 and let's go to the about phone and you can see that it is running on android 7.1.2 so let's go to the about phone and now one of the main thing I love about this room is that inbuilt group management which comes handy for a people like me. Now coming to the battery, it has the battery optimizer and battery saver too. And if you turn on the battery saver, you can see the blue light is on. And let's go back. And it has a very good battery backup, better than Lineage. Trust me on this because I have used Lineage and I am using this resurrection remix. So I can tell that it has a very good battery backup. So let's go back. Now the main thing I want to see you guys is that configuration settings and let's open it and you can see uh, there are lots of customization available so let's go to the clock customization and you can see my clock is set on left and it is showing seconds and if I off this and that's it and you can also set it to display the date small and date style lower case and date position left of the time Dead format. You can also customize the date format. There are lots of options. So let me cancel and hit it. That's it. And you can also change the font size, font size of the date. So let's go back and go to brand logo. So what is the brand logo? Brand logo is if you enable this one, this will show the ROS logo in the in there. So center right. Left, center, that's it. And you can also set custom logos for your phone, like ghost, okay, fingerprint, toxic, cat. That's fine. So let's go back. So coming to the battery, you can also change the battery style, battery percentage, showing and battery color, everything, everything you can change. And let's go to the system icon and you can also change any system icon uh, if you want so let me give you an example of this one so let me wipe my chest as you can see that it is showing LD and if I click on this it will show 4G and if I click on this again it will show LD that's it and this one is the show Bluetooth battery status which works perfect and I have tested this one with my Bluetooth headset and I think that it works pretty good. Now you can also customize the notification ticker in the status bar and you can also customize your the settings. Let's go to the settings and select this one and you can see it is uh, showing 28 Celsius and, and the image. So if I select without scale and just 28 and just with scale and you can see it is just showing the 28 degree Celsius without the image and just show image and you can see it is only showing image and let's go back and, and you can also customize the network traffic so let's select this one and, and if I select this one this one you can see there is nothing there is nothing You can also select bit or byte per second so that's it let's go back 
now let's go to the status page so as you can see that if i click on this if i slide on this status bar it will control the brightness and, and if i double tap on my phone status bar it will put uh, this phone in the sleep mode so let's go to the panels and in the notification panel one thing i want to mention is that in the previous version of resurrection remix i'm calling it previous because one of my friend have uh, the resurrection remix installed in his phone and it is older version than me and he has the option to make uh, this part of the notification panel transparent and in the newer version of resurrection remix which i have installed in my phone i don't see any option to make uh, this part of this notification panel customers and that is the only thing i miss about the newer version so let's go back and let's go to the header and here means your notification will appear in this part of your phone when it arrives and you can also customize your header with various image and icons that's it and it has a task manager like windows now let's go to the volume panels and see what's in there and you can see that you can also set how long your volume panels will display in this part of this uh, screen. So it is set at uh, three seconds. And also you can make your volume panels transparent. So let's see what is this thing. So let me just push my volume button. And you can see that uh, this thing is transparent. And if I set it at uh, 34 percent, and zero. And as you can see, it is fully transparent now. And you can see that it is not transparent now. So, just... so that's it. And let's go back. Now let's go to the power dialog, and you can see that you can change the transparency of your power or reboot menu. So let's say it as 50 percent. So let's see. And you can see it is transparent. And it is showing nothing. Okay, uh, so red percent is enough. And you can also change the amount of dimness in the background when uh, the power menu appears. So let's go back. And in the notification, you can also change how the notification will be uh, displayed in your screen. So that's it. Let's go to the recent. And in the recent, you can also customize the general UI and the clear all button and the recent styles. And if you click on the clear all button, you can see uh, show clear all button. And here you can see that it is my clear all button. And button center, button left, top left, top right. That's it. Let's go back. And you can also explode apps to be displayed from the recent panel. That's it. And you can also change the display type of the recent. So you can select read, on the switch, or sleep, whatever you like. So that's it. Let's go to the quick settings. And in the quick settings, you can uh, set quick animations and quick pull downs like left and right and tile layout. And, and in the advanced, you can see there are lots of options for vibrate down touch, advanced tint type, brightness slider, brightness icon, Wi Fi easy to go, Bluetooth easy to go, better tile easy to go, and everything, everything. So let's go back and let's go to the lock screen and in the lock screen if you click on gesture we can see that double tap on the lock screen to put this device on sleep and power button torch so that's it let's go back and let's go to the lock UI and the main interesting thing you will see in this OS is that you can also customize the lock screen so you can see that show power menu lock screen is enabled show lock screen clock and you can also disable the lock screen clock, lock screen pin ripple and lock screen date you can also disable the lock screen date and show lock screen alarm media cover and everything and you can also blur the lock screen and you can also see the battery lock screen battery life in and I found this one pretty helpful because if you are charging uh, your phone and um, it will show you the voltage and the current uh, battery temperature which is pretty useful for the people like me so and height status bar, clock font size, grid font size and font option you can also change the font that's it let's go back and in the color customization you can change literally everything's color as per your wish so let's go back and let's click on the lock screen shortcut and in the left you have google for assistant and 
in the middle of bang the phone and in the right in the camera so let's click on the camera and you can select anything you want so let's go back and and let's go to the upper shortcuts and you can see that you can disable this option it is long press to open apps so that's it let's go back and here you have a weather options here you can uh, hide or show weather show location and that's it let's go back and in the security you can you can see there is quick unlock show power bill lock screen unlock screen notification count and the quick unlock is that if you uh, type the right password you don't need to press the enter or the tick key to uh, unlock your phone just if you enter the right password it will automatically unlock the phone so that's it let's go back and let's go to the gesture and in the gesture you have this option called gesture anywhere and if you enable this one this one will enable this bar and if you uh, drag your screen from the right from the left sorry and and you will see that this thing appears and you can also add a remove or edit gesture if you want to and you can also change the width of this uh, trigger so that's it let's go back and in the app circle bar if you enable this one this one will display uh, this trigger and if you click on this trigger okay. if you click on this trigger you can see that there are lots of apps will appear from the left or right side of your screen and you can also select which app will display in this bar so that's it let's go back and in the by control if you select this one and if you enable this one and drag it from the uh, left and, and this one is the by control actually and it is cool right so that's it let's go back and it has also a three finger gesture and if you swipe this like this and it will take a screenshot you can see and I'm not a big fan of this one so let's go to the next one and the next one is button if you click on the navigation bar this one is on screen navigation bar you can see that this one is on screen navigation bar and navigation mode let's uh, select this one fling and you will see uh, the resurrection remix logo here and and you can see that there is a beautiful uh, logo of the resurrection remix and you can also configure the fling setting and the height and the width of this uh, bar so let's go back and in the hardware keys you can also disable the hardware keys and enable the on screen navigation bar and this single tab double tab long tab things and that's it let's go back and let's go to power menu and here you can select whatever will appear on your screen when you long press the power key and you can see that it is displaying the airplane mode and the restart and if you select the screen record and, let's see. and you can see the screen record is available here so let's go back and you can also enable or disable the shutdown confirmation dialog let me show you And this is the shutdown confirmation dialog box so you can disable it if you want and then press power button twice for camera and adjust the launch vibration the launch vibration is the vibration when your phone restarts so that's it and you can also end call by uh, pressing the power button and advanced restart and then wake up device and if you enable it your volume buttons will wake up this device and answering call by uh, pressing the volume buttons playback buttons control return volumes display themes overlays with volume app and the reorientation keyboard cursor control and the volume steps and from here you can uh, select whatever volume steps you want so my ringer volume is set to 7 steps so let me change it to 45 or 30, 30. And if I change it to 7, it is just 7 steps. So that's it. Now let's go to the animation. And in the animation, you can enable or disable the system animation and scrolling modifiers. So the scrolling modifiers is that if you enable it, you can control the fling velocity, which is like if you scroll like this and it will control the velocity and over fling distance and scroll function over scroll distance you can control everything so let's go back 
and you have toast here i don't like this one personally and power menu you can uh, also customize your power menu so it is set as default so let me show you the what is default and this one is default so if i select let me select the 3d so 3d this one is top button and that's it let's go back and you can also change the transition effect from here it is set as default and you can select whatever you want so let's go to the interface and in the interface you can change the font size display size and custom lcd density pixel and let's go to the blood personalization and see what's in there so let me show you the difference and uh, if you uh, pull your notification uh, panel, you can see that this part of the screen is not blur. So if I enable this one, and you can see this part of the screen is blur. And the next one is transparent expanded status bar. So if I enable this, one, so first let me show you what is my status bar. So this one is my status bar now. So you can see that uh, this part of this uh, screen is not transparent. So previously I told you that uh, there is an option in the previous version of the RROS uh, where uh, the, this option is available on the panel. So now this option is transferred into uh, this interface option. So if you enable this one, so you can see that this uh, this notification panel is fully transparent now. Not fully transparent, but transparent now. You can also change the transparency from here, transparency scale. So what I is missing is right here. So the next one is blood resonance. So let me show you the difference. So this one is the recent app, uh, recent app menu, and you can see that uh, this part of the screen is fully visible. So if I enable this one and and you can see that uh, this is transparent okay and from here you can also change the blur scale if you want and the blur radius so you can literally customize everything you want so let's go for the next one now let's go to the expanded desktop and you can see that the status bar is visible here so if you enable this one the status bar will vanish and that's it let's go back and in the ambient display you can enable the ambient display and show battery status and everything you want so that is a handy thing so let's go back and let's go to dashboard and in the dashboard you can customize your dashboard and you can change the configuration style from normal to classic and, and you can disable the show settings drawer and that's it and you can change the uh, column of portrait and landscapes that's it let's go back Let's go to input option and in the input option you can enable this force auto rotate when keyboard is shown and for disable full screen keyboard and show enter key so if you enable this one it will force keyboard to show enter instead of empty key so let's go back and in the heads up if you enable this one your notification will be shown this part of your screen and it may be irritating for some people but i think it is very handy for people like me so let's go back and you can also uh, change the screenshot delay and screenshot for pen share you can enable this one as the screenshot type and you can take full screen screenshot and also you can take uh, track selection on the area you want to take as a screenshot so that's it let's go to miscellaneous and in the miscellaneous you will get the silly links mode and the warning colors warning color is the color when a uh, battery saver or the battery optimizer whatever it is is on so it will show the warning color and this one is the floating buttons if you want to disable this one you can disable this one from here and you can auto enable dnd during calls and you can customize your clock and widget settings you can check for updates and you can block quick lock blocker and you can customize your headset so in the headset you can change where the player runs from so you can change it from here and launch music player if you want to if it is connected if your phone is connected to a wired headset or bluetooth headset or bluetooth device so let's say let's go back and in the call you can enable the vibrate on connect and vibrate on call waiting and vibrate on disconnect whatever you want so let's go back and the alarm blocker and if your screen is off then i will block the alarm if I enable this one so let's go back and suspend action 
if you enable this one and if you are using the google data then it will switch to 2g or uh, disable the gps or uh, disable the mobile data whatever you want so let's go back and and then system app remover it is a very handy thing for everyone you can remove unwanted uh, apps like hangouts or google play news stand whatever it is so let's go back and in the about you can uh, view a recent ROM changes and few features are available and you can share you can connect to their website and forum and the Facebook community github and google plus and donate to web development so all the thing is here let's go back and one thing i find very handy is that in the gps uh, if you enable the gps you can see that you can uh, select the battery saving option or the gps only or the high accuracy so it comes very handy when you have less battery left so that's it and this one also comes with inbuilt audio effects app you can select whatever you want and also the screen recorder you can record your voice or the screen whatever you want so that is a good thing because you don't need to install the third party app in your phone so that's it so thanks for watching this video guys if you guys like this video give this video thumbs up do comments do share this video and if you are new here please hit the subscribe button down there and i'm sure signing up for today i'll be back with a new video soon till then goodbye